Unbelievable. This news is causing a frenzy right now. We're all devastated by the heartbreaking loss of our beloved Ohio State team. But brace yourselves, fans, because there's a burning issue that's affecting each and every one of us. It's time to shed light on what emerged after the Cotton Bowl clash between the Buckeyes and Missouri. Buckle up, because I'm about to reveal all the jaw-dropping detail. But before we dive in, make sure to smash that like button on this video. Now let's cut straight to the chase. The shocking truths unveiled by Ohio State Buckeyes heartbreaking defeat in the Cotton Bowl against Missouri. The painful absences. Hold on tight, folks, because this is where it gets really painful. The Buckeyes had to face Missouri without their star quarterback, Kyle McCord, and the phenomenal wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. Can you believe it? McCord shockingly transferred to Syracuse just two weeks ago, leaving a gaping hole in the team's offense. And as if that wasn't enough, Harrison was sidelined for the game, leaving the Buckeyes desperately longing for his game-changing play. Throughout the regular season, Ohio State consistently scored over 20 points in every game, except for one. But in the Cotton Bowl, they mustered only a single field goal. Yes, you heard it right, folks. Just one measly field goal. That's the lowest scoring output for the Buckeyes since 2016. It became painfully clear how much they relied on Harrison, a Heisman Trophy finalist, to carry the offense. The burning question remains, would the team have suffered even more crushing defeats without these two vital playmakers? The quest for a savior. Prepare yourself for an unexpected twist, my friends. The Cotton Bowl was supposed to be the stage for the rising freshman star, Devin Brown, to prove his worth and secure the starting quarterback position for next year. But fate had other plans. Brown was struck by misfortune in the first quarter and had to leave the field, making way for another freshman, Lincoln Keenholz, to step in. This sudden turn of events left Ohio State in a state of utter uncertainty at the quarterback position. Coach Ryan Day still has faith in Brown, but he hasn't ruled out the possibility of scouring the transfer market for a new savior under center. The future of Ohio State's quarterback position hangs in the balance and the suspense is killing us. The unyielding power of the defense. Now let's shift our focus to the unsung heroes of the Buckeyes, their rock-solid defense. Brace yourselves, because what you're about to hear will blow your mind. Ohio State's defense put on a jaw-dropping performance against Missouri's formidable offense. Throughout the season, Missouri consistently scored 30 or more points in almost every game. But guess what? The Buckeyes shut them down for three quarters of the game, allowing a mere average of 4.3 yards per play. That's right, folks. You heard it here. The defense racked up an astounding six sacks, the highest tally since the arrival of defensive coordinator Jim Knoll. Sure, they faced some hiccups in the fourth quarter, but they showed us their true grit and gave Ohio State a fighting chance. Talk about an indomitable force. Special teams, whoa. Hold on to your seats, folks, because this is where things took a turn for the worse. Ohio State's special teams encountered a series of unfortunate events during the game. Punt returns became a nightmare for young quarterback Lincoln Keenholz, who stepped in after Devin Brown's injury. In not one, but two out of the first three possessions, the team found themselves trapped near their own end zone due to abysmal punt coverage. These costly mistakes put immense pressure on the inexperienced Keenholz and made his job infinitely more challenging. It wasn't until the third quarter that he finally completed a pass, as he was constantly burdened with poor field position. The special team's blunders proved to be a thorn in the Buckeyes' side. These revelations are the bitter pills we must swallow after witnessing the Ohio State Buckeyes' heart-wrenching battle against Missouri in the Cotton Bowl. Now it's your turn, fan. We want to hear your unfiltered opinion. What are your thoughts on these mind-boggling revelations? Share your fiery takes in the comments below. Together, let's continue our unwavering support and rally behind our beloved team. Go Buckeyes!